Hey YouTube, this is debaudery. So, all right now I have my ER32 collet. So, woo, right there, uh, <clears throat> in the uh, drill, and it's got an MT3 taper on it. And down here is my uh, regular three-quarter inch uh, drill chuck. And here's my wedge. And I'll explain this piece of aluminum here in a second. So, what I did is uh, with the uh, drill chuck just up in there and give it a couple of uh, whacks with a hammer. Uh, you know, I don't want to hit it directly, so I've been hitting it through the aluminum. But just a couple of decent whacks with a hammer. Uh, it feels like the taper seats up in there, but then after a little bit, you know, some vibration or whatever will cause the taper to break loose and then the chuck falls out. So that happened to me a couple times. So then I found myself, you know, not a big hammer. This is what, I don't know. 12 ounce hammer or something like that but uh you know it's a finishing hammer anyway so i had to give the uh the chuck like three or four good whacks with that hammer just straight up to drive it into the taper inside the drill it's got to be hard on bearings and things anyway yeah doing it through the aluminum so that i don't damage anything here and the same thing with the uh, er32 call it you know i, I put this uh, sleeve on there without a without a, a mill in it and then hit the bottom of it between, you know, with aluminum in between to drive it up in there. Again, four good whacks, and that seems to hold it in place. And if I don't do that, just give it like one or two whacks or tap it more gently or whatever, then the uh, the taper doesn't hold, and I'll start doing some milling or whatever, and then the whole thing will break loose and the whole part will fall out, which is, you know, not very good. Anyway, uh, the question is, how do you get your taper to stay in there without just totally beaten on it. I want to be able to take this out and put that in its place or, you know, another drill check, you know, interchangeably, you know, at will. Obviously, the right answer is a drawbar. And this does have threads on it. It's got uh, half inch by 13 TPI threads, um, which is a bolt like that. I use those for uh, holding stuff down to the table. But uh, the uh, top of the spline here is too narrow. <laughs> I can't put a three or a half inch uh, diameter bolt in there. I've got to use something much smaller. And it's, you know, I only got a dimple in the end of it. It's not hollow all the way through. So I might be able to do something like, say, a six millimeter bar or bolt all the way down through there to use as a drawbar. But in between time, I don't have a drawbar. I've got, you know, just the taper with, uh, you know, something driven up inside it. Uh, how do you make your stuff stay in your tapers so that they don't come out? You know, and yet at the same time, you can then, you know, use your wedge to drive them out so you can put in something else. How do you get that to work for you? Anyway, uh, if uh, you folks on YouTube would give me some feedback and tell me how you make that work, I'd appreciate it because I'm not sure I want to be smacking on this stuff with a hammer every time I want to drive a, you know, some sort of a fixture into the taper in there. That's got to be hard on bearings and God knows what else. So, uh, yeah, give me your feedback and your comments. We really appreciate some help with this. Thanks a lot.